Whether you are a biking enthusiast or someone who just got your first set of wheels, there are some safety tips to bear in mind before you hop on the saddle. Make sure you follow this pre-ride checklist recommended by the pros from the OCBC Cycling Club. Uh, firstly, you check on your uh, tyre pressure, see whether it's fully pumped up, so to prevent punctures and stuff. And then next, you check your brakes, because you need to stop, um, so you need to check whether they are working or not. And after that, your bottles, like, is it, is it filled up? You don't want to go out with an empty bottle, no water. And then you have your gloves, your helmets, and then your eyewear to protect yourself from the rain, the sun. Just check if it's tight enough and it's like just above the eyebrow. No point wearing the helmet when it's like all the way up here because it doesn't protect your forehead. Yeah. And lastly, wear the eyewear uh, above the outside of the helmet. Definitely, if you're not 100%, better not right now. Yeah. You can't concentrate as much as you can when you're 100%, so sometimes things may happen. So your bike is working, you feel fine, and you go for a ride. When you are riding on the road, be alert and take note of your surroundings. And if you think riding in between the yellow lines is a good idea, think again. You have to be defensive when you ride. Yeah. Sometimes you have to ride a little further on the lane so that you have more space when the car squeezes you, so that you can move to the left. During like heavy traffic and all, if you ride on the yellow line itself, there's enough space for the car to pass by, so they won't even slow down. They'll just zoom past you, and most of the time, people fall. Riding on a double yellow line is also like, I, I, for me, I think it's a bad idea because like it's too close to the curb, and then if the car they are not attentive, they just side swipe you, and then that's it. You're going, you're going down. You just got to watch out for for drivers who are always not cautious of what's around them, like. Because drivers, they're just always looking ahead, so we are always on the side, side of their cars. Sometimes they don't notice us, because we don't make any sound like what engines do, and then they just miss us. Making sure your equipment is working and a defensive riding style would make your ride a safer one. But the pros have one last safety tip to dispense. Know your own limits. If you're not properly conditioned, just don't ride too long, because once you get tired, you start to look down, and yeah, that's when things start to go wrong. If you look down, the guy in front breaks, or the car in front breaks, you're going to slam into them straight on, so like, very dangerous. Is it a very common thing? Do you see that a lot of people looking down, especially when you're out right Yes, that's, that's how most accidents happen, when they, are, when they are tired and then, like, some of them, they do, they do long rides and then they're tired, they just look down, like, they just, like, the front guys just stopping for traffic light, they just wake up. So what should you do if you are too tired to concentrate on the road? Find somewhere, stop take a drink, rest as much as you need, like even take a short nap is also good, like 15 minutes short nap and then just continue riding again. Like. Usually when you're tired and you can't concentrate, it's because you're low on sugar and things like that. So maybe you can just grab a Coke or something and once the sugar kicks in, you'll feel better. Yeah. Follow this set of safety tips and enjoy the ride.